Thanks for logging on to WTSP.com. I'm standing next to the voice of the Florida Gators, Mick Hubert, and he's called three Final Fours, two national championship teams. Where does this team stack up? Well, it's pretty good right now. You know, it, it's hard to say how they're going to do, but I really like this core four. These seniors have been through so much. They've been scarred. Uh, they, they haven't gotten over the hurdle of getting to the Final Four. And sometimes people hear that and think, boy, Florida just can't do it. But people have to realize what a tremendous achievement it is to have played in three straight Elite Eights. And uh, if the Gators are fortunate enough to get out of uh, Orlando this weekend, then it's on to a Sweet 16 next weekend. Uh, nothing's taken for granted. And that's the thing about these guys. They, they, they know they've got to come and deliver, and they really bring their lunch pails to work. This is a team built around defense. Some of Billy Donovan's early teams were scoring machines, and if the ball didn't go through the hole, we couldn't win. Now we can win by not having to shoot great. We have balanced scoring, but those guys really buy into playing defense. And so I think Florida's third in the nation right now in scoring defense, and so uh, they're, they're tough, and uh, that, that's what makes them both mentally, physically challenging because, because they have that toughness. What a rare commodity they have. Four of their five starters are seniors. Why has Billy been so successful in holding on to these seniors and then getting them to buy in what he's preaching? You know, the interesting thing about that was uh, Billy could have been the coach in this building a few years ago when he actually was the magic coach for about 48 hours and then came back to Florida. When he came back after the 04s had left and won their back-to-back -back titles in 06 and 07, he knew he was going to have a rebuilding job. He really almost had to reinvent himself, much like he did when he came in 1998 to get the program up initially. He had to do it again. And so we had a couple of departures there with uh, Maurice Spades, who left after uh, his second year. He was a nice backup to Al Horford, and all of a sudden he got really good his sophomore year, and he left, went to the NBA. Nick Calathis uh, from here in Orlando, he, he left, went to Greece. So you lose two players like that, it, it, it kept Florida out of the NCAA tournament. But in those two years, uh, they won 49 games, but they went to the NIT because they didn't beat the right people. Well, Billy realized that, you know, we've got to get some good players in here that we can build upon that can stay. Not that we don't want to recruit so-called one-and-dones, because he did that a few years later with Bradley Beal, who was here one year and then went off to play it with the Wizards. Uh, but basically, when he brought in this this group with, with Patrick Young uh, and, and, and Scotty Wilbekin leaving in high school after his junior year, and then came in with Casey Prather and, and uh, Will Yagat, those guys have been together for four years, and they just enjoy being around one another, and they grew together. And, uh, and so that's what's made them special is that uh, uh, they, they bonded well together. Last year, the Gators never won a close game, and games decided by five points or less that we were 0-6. And, and this year, I mean, we're winning all the close games, and the games that are decided by nine points or less were like 15-2. and two. So uh, that's just a part of the maturation process of, of being uh, around for a while. And, and that's what's made um, the so-called mid-majors tough because the mid-majors rarely have played players leave early. So you're always going to face uh, junior and senior oriented mid-major type teams, but at the so-called BCS conference level, you know, it's rare to get to a group of four and five seniors. There are a few teams that have it, and when you get it, it can be really special. When you, you just said the magic word, special. Everybody wants to compare this team to the 06, 07 squads, the back-to-back -back champions. What are the likenesses that you see between those squads and this team? This team finally won an SEC tournament title. They were chasing that. Uh, the other group won it three years in a row. Uh, 05, and then they came on and won it at 06 and 07, the SEC tournament title I'm speaking. So this was a, a challenge this group had to, to make, and, and they did. They've also now held the school record for the most consecutive wins, and the home court record is, is this group. So this group, no matter how this season finishes, they've had a tremendous year. But I, I can't elevate them to the level of the 06 and 07 groups because those guys won back-to-back -back national titles, and they had three pros on the team in, Nor in, in Noah and Horford and Brewer. And, and I'm not sure if there's an NBA guy on this team right now. I mean, maybe there is. I don't know. But, but you knew when you watched that group, you were watching NBA future players. I'm not so sure about this group, but this is a connected team. And this team is deeper than that team was. Now that, that team w was pretty good, but other than Chris Richard coming off the bench, there wasn't a lot of depth. This team has much more depth, so uh, I, I still got to tip my hat to that first group, but what this group is doing is, is pretty special, and uh, if, they can, if, they can, if they can grab that elusive ring at the end, uh, they'll be in, in pretty good company. Well, we hope you end up in Arlington. The road to the Final Four ends right there. Mick Hubert, the voice of the Florida Gators, and you can catch him over the Tampa Bay Area, Tampa Bay Area Airwaves by just checking out GatorZone.com. All right, thanks for logging on to WTSP.com, and thanks, Mick Hubert. Appreciate Thank it, buddy. Thank you. My pleasure.